Hello everyone. My name is Sandeep. I'm here to here to demonstrate a problem and solving it using a POMDP which is partially observable Markov decision process using a one step greedy algorithm. So, before we go into the code, I would like to I like to shed some light onto the problem. So the problem here is we have a state we have a mid we have a world with uh, which is a 3 by 4 matrix with four different possible states and uh, and uh, and there is a robot and it should it should traverse through all the states without hitting the wall which is state 5 and uh, not falling into the pit which is state 10 and not and reaching the goal which is state 12 and uh, and like i said this is a partially observable system and we 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 don't know exactly where the robot is all we have is a probability distribution based on the measurement that that's given to us so before we can move on to the code i'd like to uh, talk about few things like what what's a partially observable system like before that what what is a stochastic system so a stochastic system is a physical system where we don't know uh, the exact measurement or location or or you know action all we have is a probability distribution across the possible states or possible actions and uh, if, if, on the other hand a determ- deterministic system is uh, we know exactly where the robot is if you get a reading that it's at state 6 it it's definitely at state 6 which won't be the real case you know real in real scenario because there's always going to be some noise and uh, you, you can't make a noiseless robot not which is 100% noiseless okay so uh, before moving on uh, i'd like to also talk about states a state is the way the world exists at a given time if we imagine the set of every possible way in which the world exists each of the items in the set would be our states and uh, belief you know uh, we have a distribution of probabilities across all the state states where we where we might find the robot so this met, this 3 by 4 matrix because we are because of the world that we we have right now it's a 3 by 4 matrix so our belief is going to be a 3 by 4 matrix so the, the matrix containing all the probabilities across all across all the states is our belief belief matrix and uh, there are four different actions possible in our case uh, right up move right or move up or move down or move left so let's say we get a reading that the robot is at state 3 right uh, it can either move to state 2 or state 6 so which way should it choose i mean if it was for me i'd i'd give it i'd ask to move right because it's closer to state 12 which is our goal but uh, this is this is this is asymmetrical let's say uh, we take state 1 let's say we have state 1 and uh, i i i for I, you can either move down or move right so which way you going to choose uh, you know you, you choose state 2 because state 4 brings you dangerously close to state 10 which is the pit which da- let's say if the robot falls in the pit it damages its tires and uh, there would be replacement costs so that would be so each 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 uh, step each moment and each state has a cost function cost associated with that so if it's in state 1 or state 4 the cost would be minus 1 because it's it's not at the goal position and uh, reaching the goal means it gets a cost of at plus 100 so and falling in the pit means minus 100 and hitting a wall is minus 50 So based on this reward matrix reward matrix is essentially uh, the cost of all the states possible and uh, if you put it into a matrix it's called the reward matrix and uh, using that reward matrix I'll propagate the robot forward to reach the goal and please do keep in mind that we don't have any idea where the robot exactly is because it's partially observable okay moving on to the code Uh, I've initialized the world where zeros are the free spaces and one is uh, one is an obstacle 
uh, it's a three by four matrix and uh, the the sensor that i've used for measurement has a variance of 0.5 and it is uh, it's a gps sensor okay so initially we don't know anything about the belief we don't have a measurement so i'm going to assume that the robot that the robot could be any in any of the possible states i assign a uniform probability across all the states except for the obstacle of course so this is where i do it and uh, these are all the possible actions that that the robot can take right up down or left and uh, this right here is the reward matrix i give uh, plus 100 if it reaches goal and minus 100 if it falls in the pit and a minus 50 if it if it hits the obstacle and a minus 1 for all the moves that it makes before reaching the goal position okay so initially i use a random function to get a G- gps measurement you know because i can i can assume the robot is at a different position but i like it to be random you know for, uh, it starts from different locations so i use a random fun- uh, random uh, you know measurement and start start there so using this measurement i'm going to update the belief update the belief using this function uh, belief given measure and i'll show you what the function is uh this function uses the posterior belief belief and the current measurement o and uh, gives us a new belief using a bayesian rule a simple bayesian rule uh this 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 is done this this formula here is done using uh, something that we learn from the textbook probabilistic robust, robotics by sebastian turn i can provide you with the name of the textbook in the description below the video and uh, moving on so i get a belief and i initialize a for loop let's say uh, the robot can let's say it's in state one farthest farthest uh, it's the farthest away from the goal so let's say if it takes this way state 1 2 3 and state 6 and state 9 state 12 well, there are like possible 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 steps and uh, five steps and let's say uh, there's some noise so it's going to be 12 steps that so i use a for loop with a relatively large number compared to the number of steps that are possible right okay so that and i also break it in the middle so it doesn't matter how large a number that you take here and uh, using the belief that uh, that we got from the measurement o we propagate the belief forward for all the moves that we can make let's say if i'm moving right i'm going to pass that move and the posterior belief belief to a function called move model which gives us a new belief based on uh, based on the move that we made and the belief the posterior belief so what it does is it updates the belief it move if we ask the robot to move right uh, the probability distribution moves right by one step and and if it reaches the end of the wall it just adds that to the previous previous state as well so if let's say we're in state 9 and ask the robot to move down so the prob the new probability at state 9 is going to be the sum of the old probability at 7 state 8 and the sum and the probability the old probability at state 9 that's how this this function is this function works and this here governs the you know borders of the world this if statement here okay so based on that we get new beliefs for all the possible moves so right gets a new belief r and down gets a new belief d and what i do is i cal- calculate the payoff based on the reward matrix and the belief that i get so this r is the reward matrix and uh, if i multiply element wise uh, i mean if i multiply a reward matrix with the new be- new belief r let's say because i gave the move to be r uh, element wise i get the you know payoff matrix and uh, you know this i i calculate the f- sum of all the payoffs and i get a total payoff matrix that's payoff 1 and uh, that that's going to be if i make the move right so 
Similarly, if I make the move down, I calculate another payoff matrix, payoff, and similarly, I do it for all the actions possible, and find the maximum of all the pay all the four payoffs, uh, each payoff being associated with each each action that can be taken. I get a pay, I get a, I get a maximum payoff, right? So that that is the that is the action that that I need to take at the next step. So and uh, this 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 for loop. breaks off when there is no significant change between uh, the payoff at this step and the payoff at the previous step and i gave it a value of 10 power minus 14 and uh, usually uh, usually uh, it doesn't go like i said it doesn't take all the 1000 thousand, thousand iterations it it it, it ends uh, way before that and uh, you know uh, after after i decide which action is the best to take i update the belief based on the based on the move and and give and start start from here again so it, this this process is going to continue and keep in mind this is a one step greedy algorithm that means i'm only calculating the payoff for just for one step and uh, i've used a, a draw all function to uh, it, it gives a uh, draw all uh, it's a function and it it gives a graphical representation of the belief you know it's easier to understand that way and uh, and let's run the code and see okay so uh i've already got the because i had i had no filters on 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 the robot and and it already is at the goal position so i'm going to start off with a new new reading see I've, i've also added a pause statement in the middle so that i can show you step by step updation of the probabilities okay so we have here the actually the robot is in the pit position 4 comma 3 um okay so you can see that if it's in like uh, it's in state 10 right now the best way for it to do is go is to down and down right so that's what it does so it takes down and updates the probabilities like you can see in the image and it takes down again and it updates the probabilities now is the tricky part it takes to the right again because you know it's it's not entirely sure where exactly the robot is i mean the robot doesn't 100% i mean it doesn't know for sure uh what 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 is uh, what's it, what, what's its location so it takes another right and another right and another right to make sure that it's in you know it's in us st- at the goal position so right now it, it it's going to exit now the loop the for loop and this is how a pomdp using a one step greedy algorithm works Okay. we can also use a two step greedy algorithm but then it increases the complexity and the processing time but it's more effective than this it's more effective than this and it takes into consideration all the different actions uh, like uh, if it's a two step greedy algorithm i have to calculate uh, there are like 16 possibilities uh, right 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 up right down and so on uh i have to account i have to calculate the payoff for each 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 act, each set of actions possible and choose that so it, it moves two steps the two step greedy algorithm moves two steps it chooses the best two two steps and and moves forward that way and uh, that's it you can see that the distributions the probability distributions are getting updated with every move that the robot makes and i haven't added any controller it just it just reaches the goal all i need is a reward function reward matrix all i need to define is a reward matrix and uh, the robot moves around being said i'd like to conclude by acknowledging few people who have helped me uh, make this project first of them being uh, dr aaron t becker a uh, professor for advanced digital control systems at university of houston he has been a very helpful in providing me with the codes that are necessary to propagate the beliefs and also for drawing the probabilities 
and uh, a few of my friends who helped me make this project. And I, I've uploaded this file onto MATLAB Central and I'll also provide the link to this file in the description below. If you do like my video, please subscribe and like the video. And if you have any doubts, you can comment below so I can, I'll reply to them as soon as I can. Thanks a lot for watching.